So, I think the time has come for the Agora Doc to announce the awards. Uh, before that, I would like to uh, thank the participants uh, with projects, but also the professionals without project, um, the juries, of course, the team, but also the sponsors, the ones that are supporting us since a few years, many years, and the new ones as well. And um, we had more than 300 uh, film professionals um, attending this Agora doc, uh, both uh, physically and online. And um, I think it's the best proof that the industry is ready to be back in the business. Well, if it ever <laughs> stopped, by the way. <laughs> so uh, I pass the floor to Orestis for the following words. Good evening. Um, before the award, I just want to mention the new initiative of uh, Thessaloniki Film Festival, which is the Evia Film Project. Uh, a five-day uh, five agora, complemented with masterclasses, seminars, and open-air screenings. It will take place on 15 to 20 June at Evia the second biggest island of Greece, which suffered from catastrophic fires in the summer of 2021. The Agora will include the pitching forum and works in progress, and all projects must have an environmental angle. The call is open. The deadline is April 15th, and you can find all the information on the festival website. It will include uh, fiction, documentaries and new media. We are planning to turn Evia into an international pole of, Greek, of green cinema. Thank you very much and we continue to the awards. So, uh, a very big thank you to all the Agora team, to all our colleagues and, of course, the volunteers, to the tutors, the mentors who helped us during the preparation, to the Agora Talk speakers and everyone who participated this year. Uh, the Agora Talks and uh, the Thessaloniki Documentary Festival returned to the historic Warehouse C inside the port of Thessaloniki and uh, opened its doors to accredited guests for meetings and industry activities. Uh, more than 350 meetings took place and uh, they will continue online on uh, Friday. Uh, for another year, the Agora Docs is uh, the hub for documentary creators with a great number of activities that will continue until the end of the festival. Uh, like the Agora Talks, the Agora Lab, and uh, the EVA Mentoring Program. Uh, so let's start with uh, the Thessaloniki Pitching Forum Awards. Hello. <laughs> so, as you can see over there, we have uh, plenty of awards to give. So, before I ask this year's jury uh, to join me, I will ask uh, Marco Gastin, a representative of the MFI Script to Field Workshop and tutor at the Dog Lab, to announce the MFI Dog Award. Thank you. And because of this day, you will allow me to dedicate this uh, award to the people of Ukraine and uh, to the filmmaker from there. <laughs> Some are fighting with arms, others are fighting with camera to tell the truth about this aggression. So, my name is Marco Gastin. I'm uh, representing here MFI Script to Film. It's an advanced training program for script and project development. 
of uh, European and international feature films, series, projects, and feature documentaries. It consists, in, uh, it consists of a four intensive workshop sessions per year, two on site in Nisiros and Rhodes Island, two online from end of June till end of December. I am myself a uh, trainer in this uh, dog lab together with Ove Jensen, you already know. Um, and like every year, we will uh, award the project pitched here in the Thessaloniki Pitching Forum. The award is a scholarship for the 2022 Dog Lab worth uh, 2,000 euros. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. Uh, there were this year, I have to admit, a lot of very good projects, uh, worth to be awarded. By nature, a award is a bit different. It's, it's, uh, it's of course for good, very good projects, but it is to go not only to very strong projects, but also for a project to a project who needs, which need us, needs us. Uh, it means. Uh, still need a substantial artistic development. From the 14 projects presented this year at Thessaloniki Pitching Forum, after a long discussion with Ove Jensen, my colleague, we chose a very attractive project with strong international potential, led by a young, talented and promising team. This project has got all the dramatical ingredients to make a very good film. Strong characters, conflicts, a universal topic told through a very specific story. I'm sure our six months spent together on site in two paradise, paradise islands and online will help them to articulate these elements together with a, in a strong, very strong, moving and relevant drama about utopia, freedom and reality. So the MFI Doc Award goes to Honey Dew. <laughs> Directed by Marco, very nice name, Marco Bergonzi, Michael Petrolini, and produced by Simone Catania. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, what can I say? Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Just thank you. It's, uh, I think it's, they deserve it, for sure, because it, it's the first time they're pitching internationally, and, uh, and this is the first prize that you're giving, you're giving us. And so, I have no so, words. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're looking forward to seeing you in, in this year. Thank you. We, we were not expecting, so I'm a little bit. <laughs> yeah, thanks to everybody. I'm sure we, it will be our big, big, big opportunity. And I'm so happy. So <laughs> thanks a lot. Thank you. So, and uh, with that, uh, we can ask the jury of the Thessaloniki Pitching Forum, uh, consisted of uh, Christian Arora, International Content Consultant, SBS Australia, Stephanie Fuchs, Festival Manager at Outlook Film Sales Austria, and Angelos Kovotsos, Film Director from Greece, to come on stage. Thank you. So, and we will begin uh, with the Bell Dogs Networking Award. We have here with us Mara Prochaska, director of Beldox International Film Festival, and Eva Ubele, head of Beldox Industry. We welcome them also here. Over there. And uh, so the award, the Beldox Networking Award, generously offers accommodation and accreditation at the upcoming Beldox International Documentary Film Festival. And now the jury will announce the winner. Um, the jury was impressed by a project that reflects on the process of change 
and the necessity of culture, and does so with a patient approach and the best traditions of, of, uh, of observational documentary. The pitch gave a clear vision of the film's aim to mirror structural conflicts with personal ones. So the jury decides to give the Bell Docs Networking Award to uh, caution risks of falling exhibits. Well, thank you. I was so far away because I didn't expect this. I was there in the back, but thank you very much. And uh, thank you to the festival for having us here. I, I cannot talk. I mean, and this is uh, strange in me. <laughs> Just I'm so shocked. But uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity and a privilege to be with the other 13 marvelous uh, projects because the quality was amazing. So thank you, everyone. So we move on. Just give me a second. <laughs> so we will now uh, continue with Day Award. The Day Documentary Association of Europe Award is for project consultancy and free membership of the organization. And we have with us Celine Murat, senior consultant at the Documentary Association of Europe. Hi. Here she is. And uh, I pass the mic to Christian. Thank you. Um, so the winning pitch uh, invites us into a fascinating world to discover a complex character on a journey to find and redefine his own identity and explore the protective shields he's built to survive. The jury trusted the vision, the sensitive approach and the personal point of view of the filmmakers and we're really happy to give the DAE Documentary Association of Europe Award to The Floating World. Um, nobody's going to believe me, but I'm actually a really shy person. So, uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody. This is our first public pitch, and we're really excited to be able to share a journey <laughs> with, uh, with everybody here. And uh, thank you. Thank you to the panel and, and to the Saloniki. So now we have, um, we continue with the Island Production Digital Services Award, which is offering uh, an hour of high quality digital transfer of archival materials. And uh, Agilos Kovotsis here will announce the winner. This award from Island Productions offers an hour of high quality digital transfer of archival material. For the jury, the winning project showed a real passion to find film and video from around the world, revealing both the history of a lost paradise and the people that shaped it. The award goes to the project about the island of Mykonos, Super Paradise. Hi, uh, thank you very much, uh, Thessaloniki Film Festival. Uh, it's been our first pitch for this project, so we're very excited. Uh, Thessaloniki for me is a lucky place because uh, I premiered my film three years ago and I got an award and I really like to thank them for having me again. Thank you so much and congratulations to all of the projects. It's been a pleasure sharing this experience in the space with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to continue the research on the archival works, which really fascinates us. 
So I think uh, we're going to do our best to use the, this award. Thank you. So, and now we move on uh, to the Thessaloniki Pitching Forum Award of 2000 Euro to a Greek project supported by ERT, the Greek Public Television. And we have here with us Jenny Vafaku, Director of Programming. Jenny, here she is. And Christian will announce the award. So the winning project uh, is one that tells a story local to Greece, but cleverly framed to draw out its international relevance. The confident presentation and beautifully written synopsis convinced the jury not only that the team is onto a good and untold story, but also that it has the skill and commitment to investigate its murky depths. The multi-layered story, exciting visuals, and character-driven approach all point to a film which can immerse the audience in the reality both above and below the surface. It's a film that needs to be made now and one which we are sure can find an audience on television to start a public conversation. The jury is really pleased to give the award to Sunken. Oh, thank you. It's our first pitch and it's the first award. And thank you, Thessaloniki, for having us. Thank you, Jerry. And we'll do our best. I'm very bad in public speaking, as you saw in the pitch. So I just want to say thank you. And we will do our best. Thank you. So, and now we move on to the main Thessaloniki Pitching Forum Award of 2000 Euro. And Stephanie, or come a little bit over here. Lovely. Um, so the main award was fiercely contested among the excellent projects presented at the Thessaloniki Pitching Forum. The jury was very impressed by the overall standard of the presentations and the engagement and commitment shown by all of the pitching teams. Congratulations to each and every one of the filmmakers for being selected, and we wish them all the luck, uh, all good luck on the journeys of their films. Sorry, I'm also not that good at public speaking. <laughs> um, but there can only be one winner. So the, the jury, um, we were looking for three things. Um, a pitch that best communicated the project's story and creative ambition. A team with the drive and the willingness to push themselves in making it and a film idea that we felt had the potential to grow and reach uh, audiences internationally. Um, the winning pitch had integrity, a deep affinity to its characters, and a clear awareness of the potential social impact of the film. It also promised a cinematic language to tell what may appear a small story, but is one with global relevance. With the hope that this award can help the seeds of an idea Grow into a beautiful and important documentary. We give the Thessaloniki Pitching Forum Award to Harvest Moon. Thank you. Thank you so much. To give a speech. <laughs> Thank you, very much. Um, uh, we really hope this will help us um, in telling the story of wheat and food sovereignty, and to bring back, um, bring back. Uh, I don't know. I'm out of words. <laughs> um, well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, with this, uh, we conclude with the Thessaloniki Pitching Forum Awards. We thank the jury very much.
And uh, yes, I think my colleague here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to ask uh, our artistic director, Orestes Andrea Dakis, to come on stage again and uh, announce the Onassis Award, Cinema Award. Which is for both, sorry, yes. which is for both, uh, for all Greek projects in the Agora Docs. <clears throat> so the Onassis culture loves and supports Greek cinema. For that reason, they give 5,000 euro to a Greek project. As part of his long-standing and ongoing partnership with the Thessaloniki Film Festival, Onassis Culture is launching a new award this year, the Onassis Cinema Award, given to a Greek project taking part in this year's Agora Talks. Here is what the Onassis Foundation had to say about the reasoning behind its choice. A community that claims its uniqueness and comes out of the darkness into the Aegean light and finally to the whole world creating a new life, a new state of things. A deeply politic project, which asks for equal treatment, brings hope for an inclusive future and stands out for its courage, versatility and romanticism. This documentary about a well-known story with many unknown aspects meets the Onassis Foundation's vision for an open society. May this film, which we hope to see soon in theaters, be another step towards freedom and equality. The 2022 award goes to the film Lesbia, the Health Story of Pedasos <laughs> by Jelly Hadzidimitriou. <laughs> uh, I couldn't imagine when I started 10 years ago to document our story that I would be, I, I would have this, this prize from the Thessaloniki uh, Film Festival. Thank you really very much. And actually, I never thought when I first came out 40 years earlier than that a film like this could be uh, awarded. I hope uh, that this is just the beginning and uh, that it won't stay only in the, f in the films, that we won't only watch it in the movies, but uh, our world will become better and will be more inclusive to diversity, all kinds of diversity. Thank you and <laughs> sorry again. <laughs> And now we continue with uh, the Agora Docs in Progress Awards. Uh, I would like to ask from our jury, Martin Horina, programmer at Carlo Vivari, uh, Fedra Vocali, producer and uh, director of uh, the Hellenic Film Academy. Uh, Jeffrey Winter is now flying back to Los Angeles, so he's not with us. Uh, so, let's start. Uh, I would like to ask Katerina Zabelli from uh, Neonico Plano, to come to give the first award. So, so hello everyone, thank you for being here. Thanks to Thessaloniki for having us and to all the participants. Congratulations on all the project, it was a great selection. So um, for its cinematic feel and access to the difficult subject matter in a region that is not often in the spotlight, in a language we rarely hear on screen, made us want to see this film completed. The jury bestows the Neoniko Plano Award for subtitling in English or French to The Love Room from North Macedonia. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, thank you very much. It's an honor to be here, to be selected with amazing projects, and uh, especially coming with a small budget, as you said, with a language that nobody hears, and subtitling in French would be amazing, because I don't know where you can do it. Thank you very much. It's a movie about love and prison, and thank you for all the love that I'm getting here. Thank you. Uh, so now we continue with uh, the Greek Film Center Award. Uh, Athena Kalkopoulou, the director of the last film, is here to give it. So, Martin. Uh, this film highlights an important subject matter that has stirred social and political change in contemporary Greece. Change that we would like to see spread and create accountability. The jury bestows the Greek Film Center award of 3,000 euros in cash to Metisofia. Thank you. Um, this is uh, really meaningful for us because um, when we started a year and a half ago, we didn't know what was going to happen. Um, we didn't know how society was going to react. Um, and it seems like there was a shift. Um, and we're hoping that our film will be able to tell the story. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. This means the world to us. And I just want to say that this is a film about social change and that one day we wish that women and girls are going to be safe and free and exist like men, you know. It's um, thank you. There's nothing more to say other than thank you to the festival for having us here and to everybody we met or didn't meet. And I have to say, when you are in an environment like this, there's a lot of open-minded people. But we live in a country and in a world also which can be very reactionary and closed. And I'm not particularly proud to be Greek certain times, especially in gender issues. So maybe we can help a little bit and make the world a little bit better, which is not an easy thing these days. And now we continue with uh, the Mushu Music Award. Stefanos Ganos is here. In times when your country ignores an evident humanitarian crisis, there are still ways to put more pressure on authorities. This film tells the story of a man who couldn't stay indifferent in such a situation and show us that we shouldn't be apathetic either. The jury bestows the Musso Company Award for Music and Sound Services to Citizen Miko from Czech Republic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, not expected. Uh, very happy about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, thanks, everyone, for having me, having the film here and supporting us. And uh, yeah, freedom to Ukraine. Have a nice evening. And now to our main award from uh, 235 Post Production House. Nikos Mucelos is here with us to present it. We award this film for the important role it can play in the recognition and preservation of LGBT history and the inspiration it can provide for generations to come. The jury bestows the 235 Post-Production Company Award in Post-Production Services 
to Lesvia, the hair story of Eresos. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I, I, I thank you really so much. It, this is a project that I started alone 10 years ago and, and I had only the help of the community, of our community, of the lesbian community. Uh, I'm a double lesbian. I'm a lesbian born and grown up in Lesbos. And this, <laughs> gave me the opportunity to understand both sides, the lesbians and the lesbians. And this is how this film was born 10 years ago. And really, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I just thank you, thank you, really. You're helping me a lot. Thank you, festival, <laughs> thank you. So thank you. That was it for this year. Uh, I will ask all the winners to come here for a picture and uh, join us upstairs for drinks. So thank you and hope to see you next year. Thank you. Thank you.